It's beautiful here. Vulture. 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 <laughs> Not sure. I think it means vulture. Yeah, we did get kind of matching horses. Oh, I know, buddy. That grass isn't really long enough. I want to come back. And ride that gray and white one when he gets older. You jackhead with the devil. <laughs> Be careful with this devil. All the rest, she looks very, very confident in you. But, uh, no, she's not a victim. She's a victim. You need her back to you, actually. Yeah, we gave her a human yeah. Is a, we, we need a Hebrew name. No, most of the horses in Israel have uh, English names. That's so funny. I don't know why. Okay, just a safety guideline. First of all, in this area, number one risk for trail riding is a barbed wire. We have many, many uh, undisciplined cowboys that leave a barbed wire all over. So when I'm about to tell you one line, it's one line. When I say barbed wire from the right, barbed wire from the left, be aware, okay? Our horses are uh, trained to stand still, but they're horses. And, and if it's happened, just lose everything. Don't accelerate the situation. Okay. Second, when we start throat or counter, and if somebody, in any case, if somebody feel insecure, let me know, shout, and everybody stop, okay? Don't be hero, please. I know that all of you are very experienced riders, but don't be hero. Okay, so, ho, everybody stop, okay? On the other hand, I don't want that during the country you start with, yeah, and things like this, and, and then I don't know if to stop or not to stop. So. <laughs> Try to give me signal. Now, I said yesterday and will say it again. Correct, let me know about everything that disturbs you. I'm ready to go out in the mud 30 times to pay care for your stirrups and that you will not be rubbing in the last day into the other day. Okay, so I really want you to be okay. Very okay. <coughs> Uh, that's it. These horses are, all of them beside, beside Asik are from the same herd. So the chance that they will kick is very low, but it's horses. So look on the ears, especially in this day. You know, ears, be, be aware. You are, you are 10 horses. Uh, that's it. Enjoy. Uh, 
I'm not have to be in the front. I assume that Jason will be in front of me most of the time, as far as you can hear me. Okay? I don't, uh, don't, sometime I will go even in the back. It's not a problem. And, but usually you should lead uh, Elvis like to be in the front as well. Elvis does. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so this is the two of them really like to go in front. Oh. Yep. Okay. Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> What's your horse's name? Uh, this is Sah Sah Sahar. It's, it's a moon. It's a moon in a very special Hebrew. Oh. So. And this horse is from this herd also? <laughs> Not bad. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, vulture. Hoo ha. Hoo ha. out here some kind of yeah the eucalyptus oh yeah look 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 hopefully we got it that's what I thought. Yeah. Really pretty. Yeah, that's the one I was trying to think of. There's two people walking out there, straight ahead of us.
something like this. Got some beehives back there. There's some citrus orchard. Everybody getting a drink here for the horsies. Oh, the cranes. The cranes are coming from Europe to here. And in the past, they used to fly to Africa. Now, they are migrating. Now, because there is a place in the north of Israel, it's called the Hula Lake. Hula Lake, it's, it's about 100 kilometers from here. And they start to give them corn in this oh. area. So they Probably ready in August or September, huh? Nova. These are tangelos. Actually, all the water from the toilet of Tiberias and all the East Galilee go up there and from there it go by gravitation and all the fields that you saw now wasn't exist here 15 years before. So all this uh, oil and the grapes and the almond, it's because of this reservoir. Wow. So just understand how much intensive it's, uh, you all the time invest in the agriculture and we didn't have any, you know today, 35% of the water consumption of Israel came from sea water desalination. Right, and I read about that, and, that's and, very cool. And if we wouldn't have it, now it was a desert here. Uh -huh. right. you, you know, you, we are riding now in a heavy mud. So we think it's all the time like this. No, it's very, very untypical. Now, another thing. Look about this cactus. See? There is a cactus here. Yeah. Now, cactus wasn't in Israel in the Bible time. <laughs> cactus is from the new world. And it's start to come to the old world uh, just after Columbus. Now, whenever in Israel you see cactus like this, it means that there was an Arab village here. The Arab used to use it as a kind of hedges, as a life fence. 
Now, in the yeah. field there was an Arab village until okay. 1948. Oh. And uh, I will I will touch in the in the story of this village when we have a coffee. Okay, but remember this place. So here there was an Arab village. The name of the village was Madar. The name Madar, by the way, you can find it in the Talmud as well. Okay. The Talmud, it's the, it's Their Bible. the book that come after the Bible. Okay. Uh, but there was there was an Arab village here. I, we will talk okay. about it later. Okay. And that's it. You see the grapes, it's still sleeping. Almonds and olives and grapes and cactus. I can see you using cactus as a live fence.
Thank you.